You guys have no idea how excited I am to talk about the latest leaks and rumors for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. We might be getting a Bug Dragon, finally. Let's break it all down. All right, for those who have been following the channel over the last few days, we talked about the fact that the Riddler, the Chinese Riddler, had been posting a handful of different teasers uh, leading up to something. They were counting, they had shown, you know, uh, Dodrio or Doduo and, and things like that, kind of counting up. And their most recent one said PPKD289 banner version. And when you look at that, that actually gives us the number five because it actually shows Wugtrio and Wiglet and there's five heads there. So we were kind of counting up, right? Just to kind of keep you up to date. And then there was another post of six different Pokemon, uh, Squoved and uh, Greedan, and then of course, uh, Wooloo and then the, the legendary dogs and Dubwool. And someone kind of scrolled through this and said, you know what, maybe this is actually in reference to Fallings because all of these Pokemon were released in Pokemon Go at the same time, and Fall Links would actually kind of line up with that as well, uh, potentially being uh, the number six. So we counted basically from one to six, right? Dino, Doduo, uh, I think it was Magneton, uh, Probopass, and then we ultimately got to five, which was Wugtrio's image, and then six is Fall Links. So why do we count to six? That's the big question here. And I'm, I'm not sure we entirely know just yet, but I think that it'll make sense down the road. But it seems as though that riddle has kind of concluded. But there's a lot of other really cool stuff. So I wanted to get you updated on that stuff. So we know about the Paradox Raikou, right? And we know about Paradox Suicune. So the next question is, what is Paradox Entei going to be? Seems like there's some pretty significant dinosaur inspiration going on here. So Soul Silver had posted, which quadruped Paradox Entei would you choose? And then he posts the Ankylosaurus, the Stegosaurus, and a Triceratops, kind of indicating, I wonder which one of these it would be. And then the Riddler posts something very, very interesting. They quote tweeted and said, Billy. Now you might be like, Billy, what does that have to do with any of these dinosaurs? How could I even you know, discern anything from that? Well, it turns out the blue Power Ranger, his name was Billy, and he happened to have a blue Triceratops as his kind of, uh, you know, Mighty Morphin Zord or whatever it was called. It's been a long time since I did anything with uh, Power Rangers myself. So the thought right now is that Entei is going to be a Triceratops in the grand scheme of this trio, right? So you've kind of got the, the Raptor Suicune and you've got kind of the Brachiosaurus, kind of long neck dinosaur that is Raikou. And now it seems that we're gonna get Triceratops Entei. Let me know what you guys think about that because that's pretty cool. I'm a big dino fan. I know I made sure that I put some dinosaurs in my game of Lestrals because I just think dinosaurs are awesome. They were a huge part of my childhood. And I, well, not like actual dinosaurs, but playing with little dinosaur figurines. So I'm all about this. I think this is one of the coolest things that Pokemon's done in recent past. So I'm very excited to potentially see a Triceratops Entei. Let me know what you guys think about that. Oh, and on the topic of my game of Lestrals, if you guys didn't know, we did launch our store at shopalestrals.com. We have a dynamic game that's easy to pick up for new players, but has a lot of depth for veteran card players alike. And our starter decks are available right now. So if you want to check them out, we've got five awesome starter decks you can grab different elements, fire, water, earth, thunder, and wind. Pick your favorite or grab all of them at shopalestrals.com. We have an amazing community of over 11,000 members in our Discord server. We have a free-to-play mobile app. We're doing tournaments every week. I'm playing with you guys and using the community, teaming up with you guys to build an incredible game and the next big monster franchise. The card game is the first step, but we're gonna be doing much, much more. So make sure you guys check it out. Shopalestrals.com, grab a starter deck. Quantity is incredibly limited. Things have been selling out and this is the end of our Kickstarter run. This is the leftover. So once it's all gone, it's gone for good. So I encourage you to check it out. Pick up some sweet starter decks. You can check out the shelf below under the video or again, head over to shopalestrals.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. We're gonna make this something really special, so thank you. The next post that we see from the Riddler came a couple days ago. They posted a QR code with a question, and someone scanned this by using Island Scan. It actually turned into a Barbarical. They were able to scan a Barbarical. And then this person, Maple, uh, I'm sorry, Evan actually made a comment and said, all the Pokemon listed in these riddles have three to five heads or faces, right? We talk about Dino, which is uh, ultimately Hydreigon, Dodrio, Sandy Shocks, Fallings, Probopass, Mogtrio, and now Barbarical. We're thinking that this may have some sort of relevance to the Unseen Mythical Pokemon. This is where it all kind of comes together, right? The Dokutaro Peach Poison Pokemon. Or maybe this has something to do with the Diplin evolution that we know is coming, right? Like we know that Diplin is getting an evolution. We know that it works with Eviolite. There's like no doubt about it at this point that we're gonna have some sort of a Diplin evolution that is Kieran's signature Pokemon that climbs up the Caduceus staff 
kind of like the medical symbol, right? So that's kind of what the latest rumors have kind of led us to. And we'll, we'll circle back to that in a moment. The next thing, talking Doku Taro here is interesting. The Riddler posts this and says, which match is better? And it's a Poochiena with kind of like a toxic Poochiena. It was like poison. And then there's the Binding Man and there's two other icons here. So we're kind of trying to figure out what this could mean. But it seems as though this is some sort of a hint towards... Uh, you know, Okie Dogie and how it was a regular kind of dog Pokemon that was inflicted by the toxic chain and then ultimately became kind of a servant or a representative of this peach poison Pokemon that is going to be one of the mythicals in the next DLC. And we're going to kind of uncover this story. It seems to be the situation there. So a lot of question marks about this, but I do find it pretty interesting that uh, something here is is very much so relevant. There's definitely a tie in here and we'll have to see what this riddle turns into. I don't I don't have anything significant outside of the fact that again, we're just kind of waiting to find out, uh, you know, why this mythical Pokemon, you know, kind of corrupted these various Pokemon and kind of made it do its bidding. I'm very excited actually for the Indigo Disc to see some of this unveiled. I think knowing all the riddles that we know and everything leading up to it, I do want to give kudos at least at this point to Pokemon because I feel like they, have done a good job at least making me interested in what the second part of the story is and the thing that has me the most interested is the riddler had posted a few days ago saying which and it's a grass symbol and a bug symbol and that tells us that we're talking about an instance of a pokemon it's either going to be bug or grass and most people's minds immediately jump to the diplin evolution so for those who don't know the whole idea behind applin is it's a worm but not a worm like an earthworm it's like a worm like a dragon worm right so that's where it gets a dragon typing and it's inside an apple so i would have loved for flapple to be a bug dragon i felt like it was very fitting but they kept it to be bug and grass in this case right or i'm sorry grass and dragon but if diplin does indeed evolve again which everything points to that being the case and it breaks out of this apple and it has multiple heads kind of climbing up this staff which is again kind of what we're leading towards maybe there's more than two heads on this thing what if it actually loses its grass typing in this process and gains a new typing which could be bug and that is what we are leaning towards right here diplin's final evolution could be the first ever bug and dragon in the pokemon franchise this is very much so long overdue it should have been given a flag on all those years ago and now we have an opportunity to get our first bug dragon i'm i'm on the hype train man i'm a believer i think there's a real chance that this thing eats through its apple dude it loses its grass typing and now it is just a bug dragon and it's not in an apple anymore you know it's possible it has multiple heads that kind of grew up this staff or the stick or whatever it is and it ends up being this entirely new pokemon that has a new typing in general so i for one am very excited about this you guys can let me know your thoughts it's possible that riddler is talking about a different pokemon but a lot of people are speculating that this has to do with Diplin's evolution becoming a bug and dragon, which would be so sick, dude. The Riddler goes on to post, what will he snatch you from this time in the DLC? By the way, he is fully armed and it's Kieran. We have a lot of reasons to believe Kieran is going to be an, you know, a huge part of the next DLC. It seems as though Kieran is going to have this Diplin Evo and they're going to be kind of the, the pinnacle fight. You know, they're going to have some story progression. They're going to develop and they're going to, you know, try to stop you or fight you or whatever. Try to get their vengeance based on what happened with Ogre Pond or whatever it may be. So we'll have to wait and see. But I will say that uh, someone asked, Ku says, how would you rate the Diplin Evo if you needed any more confirmation that Diplin Evo existed? Is it cool or disappointing? And Ku answers, it suits Kieran. So that's very interesting. What does that mean? It suits Kieran. That's that's where things are a little unclear to me what that could mean because Kieran in the first DLC and Kieran in the second DLC might be more different than you anticipate, right? There's going to be some character development here, especially as he becomes kind of this top trainer with this really powerful dragon Pokemon we're presuming, the Diplin Evolution. It'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. But I, I for one, am excited. The, the prospect of a bug dragon has me excited enough, even though these riddles are sometimes a little bit cryptic. We'll see if Ku gives us a little bit more information over the coming days. So that's everything going on in the world of Pokemon, riddles, rumors, leaks, and more. Be sure to check out the store at shopalastrals.com and pick up some sweet starter decks. We got plushies, we got card sleeves, just the leftover inventory from Kickstarter. So if you missed Kickstarter, now's your chance. Don't miss out. The hype is game. Seriously, we're building something really awesome. So check it out at shopalestrals.com. And thank you guys so much for watching this update video. I'll see you guys in the next one.